And it's time for the Republicans to start doing the job America elected them to do. President Biden with a warning on the looming government shutdown. House Republicans are scrambling to find a path forward on a series of appropriations bills this week and support for a continuing resolution giving lawmakers a short-term breather, which would also keep the lights on and timely paychecks coming for more than 2 million civilian government workers in the country, like airport security screeners and air traffic controllers, and the roughly 2 million military personnel, including border patrol agents facing the current migrant crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. If there is a shutdown, are the Border Patrol agents in your district prepared to show up to work at a time of migrant spike and not get paid? You know, that's the that's the ugly part of a shutdown is you're going to have you're going to have real people get hurt. Speaker Kevin McCarthy worked through the weekend and is optimistic about a breakthrough. Though a handful of hardline conservatives say they're not interested in backing a stopgap measure as the GOP led House failed to reach a consensus on a short term funding bill several times last week. Democrats say they've held up their end of the bargain. McCarthy seems to be backing away from the deal because five or six people on this side of the aisle seem to be uh, calling the shots. The tail wagging the dog is not the way you do this. And on another topic, following up on disgraced New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez, well, he says he's not going anywhere. That's despite members of his own party calling on him to step down following allegations that he accepted bribes, including gold bars, money, even mortgage payments. Now, he did decide to give up his post as chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and already Saturday afternoon, Democratic Congressman Andy Kim came out to say that he will be challenging Senator Menendez during the next primary next year. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.